In this tutorial, we're going to walk through the two different ways you can export videos for YouTube. Now you guys have seen on YouTube, you will see your horizontal videos that are usually in 4K nowadays, HD, etc, etc. And then you see vertical story videos. So if you've wanted to know how to create both of them within Premiere Pro for the same video clip, you're in luck. We're going to get into it here. Okay. So assuming that you haven't already done this, what I want to show you guys is come up here once you're in Premiere Pro and go ahead and create a new sequence. All right. So your sequence is going to be titled, um, let's just say HD horizontal. And we're going to come up to the sequence settings. And if your video is in 4K, you're going to set the frame size to 3840 by 2160. You can go ahead and set the time base as 24 square pixels set at one. If your video is in HD, all you'd want to change is the frame size to 1920 by 1080. In this case, I'm working with HD footage, so I'm going to leave that as is. And we're going to go ahead and press OK. All right. Now, as you can see, we've got the exact same sequence as I started out with, and I can simply drag in, you know, my video clips into this sequence, um, and I can go ahead and start editing my footage. I can press here, scale to frame size so that it snaps into place there. Um, it does look like these files are both l slightly different in size, so I can go ahead and customize them and edit my entire video. And when I'm done editing my video, I want to press X. Um, that's going to highlight a clip and it's going to give me a start point and an end point. And I'm just going to drag the start point to the very beginning of the video so that I'm telling Premiere Pro come time to export. I want to export both of these clips. Okay. Um, if, for example, my endpoint was extended out further than my actual project or video. Well, now I'm going to be exporting all this awkward black space. So make sure that you have your input and output selected, and then you can go ahead and press control M or you can come up to file and press export and then media. And you're going to want to title your video here. Um, and you can also save it in a specific location on your computer or external hard drive. And the format should be H.264. And the preset you can set at match source high bitrate. Now, because we're posting to YouTube, we don't need to get crazy with quality. Um, most people's Wi Fi speed or, you know, isn't going to even be uh, good enough to download or watch stream videos in 4K. That being said, if you are streaming videos in 4K, you can change the target bitrate up to 40. Um, it's going to take longer to export, but leaving it at 10 for the sake of this video or most standardized videos on YouTube is going to be perfect. And then you're just going to go ahead and click export. All right. So that's how you're going to export your um, videos for YouTube that are horizontal. Let's get into story videos. So if you want to export a video for YouTube story, let's say we I've already edited our horizontal video and we want to change it for YouTube stories. We're going to go ahead and press file, come to new sequence. You can also press control N and we're going to title this one 1080 by 1920. All right. I'm going to come to the settings in my new sequence and I'm changing the frame size from a horizontal 4K video to a vertical HD video. Again, we want it to be 1080 by 1920. I'm going to set the square pixels to one and I'm going to go ahead and press OK. So now you can see I have this empty um, sequence and what I need to do is copy and paste my entire video project that I've edited from our first sequence and clicking on it and then pressing control paste so that it shows up in our second sequence. Now, oftentimes you're going to have to resize every single one of these clips um, so that it fits the entire screen. You do often see, you know, some people get creative and they put a caption up here and they put a progress bar and subtitles so that they don't actually have to change each individual clip. But if you do want to do that, you would just click on the clip 
come up to effects controls. If you don't see that, you can come to your window and making sure effects controls is selected. And you can bump the size or scale of your clip. And this one as well, we can bump the scale and size of the clip so that now our video looks vertical. Okay, and we can have the same exact video. We're just resizing a portion of it or the entire thing for YouTube stories. All right, when I'm ready to export, I'm going to press X after I've resized everything, making sure I drag the input to the first frame and the output to the end frame. You guys can use this um, guide to drag to your video. And as long as you have this snap in timeline, magnet turned on it's going to easily seamlessly snap in place for you for your input and output and then same rules apply we're going up to file we can come to export we can click on media or control m for a shortcut our settings are h.264 preset match source high bitrate you can click on this blue hyperlink to title and save your video um, that is where it's going to export and again, you can change the bit rate if you would like to. You can bump it past 10. I post most of client videos and current videos with a bit rate of 10. Um, don't worry too much about it. You can click this checkbox for use maximum render quality and go ahead and press export. And that is how you can resize and export horizontal and vertical videos for YouTube stories and YouTube posts.